friends welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, why single layer perceptron model is not good for non linearly classified data the best example for why perceptron is not good for non linearly classified data is xor problem so first of all uh, we are going to see what is xor problem so xor problem means I have x and y and what is x or y is equal to x bar into y plus x into y bar. Suppose if x is 0 and y is also 0, then what is x or y? x 0, x is 0, then what is x r? x bar, x bar is opposite of x, that means if it is 0, it is 1, so x bar is 1 into y is 0 plus x is 0 into y is 0, then y bar is 1 y is 0, y bar is 1. So 1 into 0 is 0 plus 0 into 1 is 0. So 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. So similarly, x is 1, y is 0. Then what is x bar into x, x or y? That is, x is 1, so x bar is 0, 0 into y is 0 plus x into y bar is, y is 0, y bar is 1, 1 into 1, that means 1, so this is 1. Similarly, x is 0, y is 1, then it is, it is 1, x is 1, y is 1. It will be 0. Let us see how it is 0. x bar is x is 1, x bar is 0 into y is 1 plus x is 1 y is 1, y bar is 0. So that is 0 into 1, 0 plus 1 into 0 is 0. That is why it is 0. So this is this is the x or y problem. Now let us See in graphical graphical representation. So I have represented this whole x or y problem in graphical representation. Suppose let us categories categorize the uh, values based on the results. Suppose this result is zero, these both results are zero, and these results are zero, one. So let us make it as blue, and this is also blue. And the results one, let us keep it in red dots. So similarly, we will uh, keep these dots in our uh, graphical representation. So we have shown uh, in different colors of based on the uh, results. Now we will try to uh, separate the data uh, using single layer perceptron. So single layer perceptron means we have only uh, one uh, layer so we can split the data only once I mean uh, uh, using a single layer we have to separate the data we cannot split in multiple multiple layers because we have only one option like only one layer we have in this um, model suppose so in this case I want to separate uh, red dots in one side and uh, blue dots in other side. So if we can split the data then we are success in that way. So if we cannot uh, separate blue dots in one side and red dots in other side then we are not successful. So let us see can we split the data in such a way using uh, single layer perceptron or not. 
suppose i am splitting the data in this way i am separating uh, here so uh, one blue dot coming this side and remaining two red dots and one blue dot coming this this side so that means i am not able to split the data like all blue dots in one side and all blue dot, all red dots in other side i am not able to do uh, here so this split is completely uh, not successful suppose i will try in other way we are not able to split all red dots in one side and all blue dots in other side this is also not successful see only one blue dot coming this side and remaining two red dots and one blue dot is coming in other side that means our split is not at all uh, good in this case also suppose i am splitting this way only one red dot went other side and two blue dots and one red dot coming this side that means i am not able to split properly all red dots in one side and all blue dots in other side is not happening in this case also so that is the reason this single layer perceptron model is not good for the non linearly classified data so if you want to see what what a difference between uh, what is uh, linearly classified data and what is non linearly classified data and uh, what is the difference between that uh, you can see in my earlier video i will i am going to uh, put that description uh, put that uh, link in my description uh, you can watch that video uh, so this is the main reason why single layer perceptron model is not good for the uh, non linearly classified data and one of to prove that one of the best example is xr problem so thank you for watching